Prevention is the foundation of our nation's public health system, and prevention is the foundation of my work as Surgeon General. And when I talk about the Affordable Care Act, the one thing that's really important, not the one thing, but a lot of things that's important to me, is that it provides this historic funding commitment to promote prevention and wellness. This new law established a National Prevention Health Promotion and Public Health Council, which I have the honor to, to chair. This council provides coordination and leadership at the federal level to ensure that government is focused on prevention. This is the first time that we will ever have, any, have ever had anything with this kind of focus on prevention. Our charge is to develop the first ever national prevention strategy. And so with this council, I hope to move us from a system of sick care to a system based on wellness and prevention. And as a family physician in solo practice, I, like many of you, have seen so many missed opportunities for, for prevention in the healthcare settings across this nation. If we truly want to reform our health care in this country, we need to prevent people from getting sick in the first place. We need to stop the illness and stop the disease before it even starts. In addition to the state-of-the-art medicine that we have now, we need a new approach to promoting prevention in our communities. Since staying healthy depends on other factors that influence our health, like housing, transportation, education, the availability of quality and affordable foods, our workplaces and in our environment. I really want to change how we think about health in this country. And that calls for a nation to take a more holistic approach to community health. Everything from safe highways and worksite wellness programs to clean air and healthy food. We need to get to a place where everyone understands that almost everything that we do, even though it's not labeled as health or prevention, that it really does affect our health the quality and the length of a life of all Americans. My priorities, again, is, is a focus on wellness and prevention, but there are a number of priorities that I have, and I'll just mention them briefly. One is obesity. I, my first paper was the Surgeon General's Vision for a Healthy and Fit Nation, and I released it a year ago, just two weeks before the First Lady and I released her, I joined her to release her Let's Move um, program. The Surgeon General's vision for a healthy and fit nation includes obesity around of all the family, of all Americans, and the less move concentrates on children. You have to combine them both. And we, in my vision um, for a healthy and fit nation, includes you know, the work site, the places in the work site wellness programs, particularly asking you to focus not only on your employees, but on their families as well, and to involve the entire communities the schools and everyone else. 